What's up, YouTube? Dark God back again, day 24. Uh, one week to go until Halloween. Uh, still pumping these along. I'm, I'm up to triple what I did last year and the year before. Uh, so I, I'm happy that I'm at day 24. I really want to get to day tw uh, 31. Um, October's blowing by. I mean, like, I'm actually at the point where I'm, I'm nervous about hitting 100, uh, which is never the case. I'm usually at 100 around this point of the year. And right now I'm at like 70. So I'm about 30 off of my usual pace. Uh, which is a little crazy and all, but uh, a little push, and I probably will hit 100. Uh, unfortunately, today I only got one film in, and it was the DVDtalk.com uh, pick of the day, and it was a werewolf film from the 80s that it falls in the middle of the pack for me as far as werewolf films go, uh, and that is Silver Bullet star starring Corey Haim and Gary Busey, which 80s style is such a, a classic mashup of two 80, 80s icons, I'll say. I mean, Gary Busey... You know, people know Gary Busey now with the the big teeth and the the crazy you know uh, acronyms uh, F E A R. You know, all, everything you can throw out there. Like uh, when he was on uh, the Celebrity Apprentice, and then Corey Haim, of course. I mean, '80s icon. Um, you know, just a, a a good a good '80s like stereotypical actor. Nice guy. Met him at Chilla Theater probably about uh, eight or nine years ago. Really nice guy to me and my wife. So I mean. To me, he's, he's a class act, and it's sad that, you know, we don't have him anymore. This was, uh, this was like, around that time before, you know, look, this is prior to Lost Boys. I believe this is right after Lucas and everything. Um, and he plays uh, a different character than you would normally see him. He plays a, a kid in a wheelchair, but not just any, any wheelchair, a souped-up, you know, motor-on-a-wheelchair type kid. And um, dealing with a, a werewolf attack in his neighborhood, basically. And, you know, the whole... Uh, trying to figure out who did it and everything. And you get a lot of cool um, character actors in here. Uh, you get, um, uh, I'm going to butcher, like I'm going to forget all their names when I'm saying this, so I'm just going to say the like, other characters they play. You get uh, Terry O'Quinn from, from Stepfather and from Lost playing the, the sheriff. You get uh, the father from People Under the Stairs or the, uh, the bodyguard from uh, Under Siege 2. He plays the priest. And... Uh, there's a couple others. I mean, you're going to see people and you're going to know like, oh, that person's, you know, I remember him from that or I remember him from this. Like I was, I was constantly during a watching, uh, going back and seeing, you know, who everybody was, what they're from, you know, where I remembered them from. And this is my first time seeing, uh, Silver Bullet. Um, I saw a couple years ago, also in the October Horror Movie Challenge. But like I said, like, I, I like it. It's a good movie. I mean, you have to have a big suspension of disbelief, not even for the werewolf that's in the film. You have the big the suspension of disbelief that, you know, they're letting this kid in classrooms with a, a gas-producing motor on the back of his wheelchair. And nobody complains that, like, the fumes are, or the smoke or the carbon monoxide that's just blowing into the classroom. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's a fun ride. I mean, you get Gary Busey just knocking it out of the park. I mean, like, this is Gary Busey who is, like, still coming off of, of you know, just being a awesome actor. You know, being, like... Just any, like, this is prior, well, that's not prior to Cocaine Gary Busey. I'm sure this was right in the middle of it, but he was still, like, just really such a good actor and everything. So you're still getting him taking it serious and, and just knocking it out of the park. And then other than that, I mean, you get some cool gore scenes with the werewolf. I mean, werewolf movies in general, for me, like, I like werewolf movies, but I, I like werewolf movies that are, are very gory because I think that's what separates them is that they're these savage beasts. So when you have a werewolf movie where the werewolf is like tearing people apart, it, it works so much better than, you know, just a straight, like, you know, scary werewolf type movie. But anyway, in this film, I mean, th like I said, this would be like the middle of the pack for me. You get um, Howling's ahead of this, American Werewolf of London, Dog Soldiers, uh, obviously the original werewolf. Um, and then, I mean... I'd have to think, but there's other films I would probably put ahead of this. Um, you know, just, it, it's like that middle of the pack werewolf, probably like, it would be like tier C type werewolf movie. Um, whereas you have the higher ups that are like the amazing ones. And then just like right there, but it's still a fun film. It's still like a 5.5 out of 10 for me. Still a really good 80s horror film. Still like just a fun film to watch and you'd kill time with. And it, I mean, it's, everything works in it. It's just like, it's a fun film to watch. So, only one film in, but I'm glad it was that film. It was a good film today. So, let's see how many more times I can say film in a 30-second span there. Anyway, uh, today's day 24. Seven more of these to go. I'm going to knock them out of the park. Until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.